So what we're illustrating here is some patent pending technology that we have around blockchain and specifically its use in configuration management for what we call in aerospace and defense the as maintained bill of material, which is the configuration of the aircraft after it's been delivered to the customer. We've built a game that illustrates uh, the role of what we call a fleet manager who's responsible for maintaining the aftermarket service contracts for a fleet of engines for an airline. And as we go into the game, we have a series of engines here that we can choose to prioritize for maintenance. And what we're showing here is that in today's world, you often have incomplete information. The blockchain solution that we've uh, patented, uh, or have patent pending on, excuse me, provides additional information that allows uh, a fleet manager to make an improved decision in terms of prioritizing that maintenance. So as you can see here, in today's world, we went, we're trying to optimize for 9,000 cycles on the engine. This might be the appropriate choice. However, blockchain actually tells us that there's some additional information that would suggest that another engine would be better for uh, putting into the shop. So the next step that we have in the game here is setting up the work scope. And again, what we're illustrating here is that the blockchain provides some insight and information that we previously would not have had. So in today's world, what we see is that the low pressure turbine is typically not recommended for this step, but if we look at what the blockchain tells us, we see that there's actually a high number of uh, cycles on the LPT and we actually do want to do some maintenance there. So we'll, we'll select three parts of the engine to include in our work scope and that leads us to an initial bill, <laughs> if you will, for those services and we'll next choose to prioritize the shop. And so blockchain is the type of solution that we're looking to in the future to help our clients optimize that. So lastly, the, the final step that we'll have here is picking the shop that we'll do. Um, the thing that we're seeking to illustrate here is that in today's world, you might seek a shop that did the last overhaul on the engine. And you do that because they actually have information on the engine uh, that today is constrained by IT systems, processes, etc. In reality, uh, the shop that you really want to do this has specialization in the piece of the work scope that you've identified. Blockchain helps you to do that. The reason that we feel this is relevant is that today our clients are increasingly using partners across a network to do their maintenance, and, um, and this can help them do that more efficiently. So the last step that we have here is um, getting into the actual overhaul, and the demo will close on that and will show uh, our clients the final cost, the time, and it gives them a great feeling for how technologies like blockchain can help them to achieve the outcomes that they're uh, seeking to achieve with their customers and internally on their service contracts.